I study photojournalism at the Danish School of Journalism in Denmark, of media and journalism, very important. Um, and in the next year, I will be finished there. So I have to, you know, find my feet as a photographer and I need to decide where I want to live and how I want my photography to develop. It is uh, really a great honor to be invited for the masterclass. And when I got the the phone call, uh, I, uh, you know, I was speechless. I, um, I in some way didn't think that this uh, could be uh, reality because um, to me, recognition in this young age is very, very important. And it all also gives me a lot of confidence in what, um, yeah, in what my work is going to be. Um, so I'm, I'm humendously proud and uh, happy. My story is about uh, swinger clubs in Denmark. It's really a portrait of the environment. It's a portrait of um, of different swinger clubs. Um, I uh, I got the idea because of the theme trust that we all have to work on, and I thought that um, swingers in many ways really um, commented on the theme trust. Um, well, first of all, I interpret the theme um, trust as giving over control to someone else. Uh, when you trust someone, you really have to uh, believe that the person respects and takes care of you because you can't um, really know how they handle this trust. And I think, especially for swingers, they have to trust many, many people. Of course, sexually with partners that they really do not know. Uh, for instance, with meeting me, they have to trust that I will uh, preserve their anonymity with caution and care. And um, for couples who visit swinger clubs, they have to be sure that the jealousy won't split them apart. They have to trust each other and they have to know that their sexualities won't develop in different directions. I really felt that you wanted to see, you know, the surroundings. Quite uh, literally, you want to see how does the entrance look? How do the people dress? How does sex look? You know, when it is not pornography, how does sex really look when, when you know, when it is in real life? I have uh, both been working with snapshot photography and digital photography. And the lights in Swinging Club is very, very poor, of course. Um, so I either had to choose, you know, to stage the photograph, to make it um, a little bit unsharp, to you know, to be able to see something or to make it with flash. I chose the non-shot pictures because um, of one single image, actually the opening picture, which shows, um, uh, it's like a gangbang where there are, I think there are eight uh, persons in it. And it is, it's taken a bit from a distance. So you see actually the doors and the room. And the doors are, are red, so they actually look like a carpet, um, like a scene that you enter. And it has this, uh, you know, it, um, the red carpet both look like, uh, like a scene, but it also looked like something burning, something on fire. I would like to say one of the reasons uh, for choosing swingers is that I think that we live in a very interesting time compared to couples and family life. I think it's very much changing with my generation. Um, many young people uh, try to um, separate sex from feelings. These people who are, you know, who are couples, who swing and who have different partners, I think really is symptomatic for our time. Uh, in Denmark, um, the numbers of swinger clubs have, um, have doubled uh, within the last 10 years. I thought 
that, you know, the owners of the swinger clubs, who are the first persons that I was going to contact, of course, that they would not allow me to enter because the people who swing really consider this as a private space. And it is very, very important for them and also for the owners because it's the business, of course. It's very, very important that it's not someone from outside that exploits this great photo opportunity because... Um, of course, that could easily happen. So I had to work a lot uh, with um, getting access one-on-one, -on -one, talking with the people, um, entering people's home, making interviews in private with different couples, talking about how they make it work, how they make family life work, and sexually, how they make it work. A lot of talking, yeah.